Hi guys and welcome to episode 1 of my new series Lock and Loadout. The series where I let you pick the loadout that I'm using in the vehicle then I will try and hit a bit of a streak or have quite a decent game with it and let you know how it stacks up. Most of the time I'd like this to focus around vehicles, mainly the IVFs or the M uh, main battle tanks, but it can also stretch to possibly a bit of infantry gameplay if that's what you really want to see. You might have noticed that I have a new intro for this series. Now it takes a logo design that I got made for me by Hornadel Gaming. He is linked down in the comments below. He produces some amazing cinematics and they're really worth checking out. And then the actual intro itself was created by a guy, a friend of mine called Tick Tick Boom. You need to check out his channel and give that guy some support because he is really talented when it comes to intro designs. He has got some serious talent going on. And also, if you want to get in contact with him, I think Twitter is possibly the best place. So, onto the video. As you can see, I'm running with the Infantry Viting Vehicle or APC or whatever you want to call it, all sort of acronyms to describe it. But this thing has been a lot of fun for me over the last couple of weeks. I'm running with the tow missile and the 25mm cannon with this loadout alongside APS and reactive armor. Now reactive armor again is one of those things where you think are you really going to run that because your positioning is if it's fairly bad maybe yes you want to run with it but if not there's not a need. With this vehicle you are going to find yourself in a lot of trouble if you get hit by a tow missile, a TV, anything from a jet or in fact a tank shell to the back and reactive armor might just protect you for that extra second because these things are so vulnerable. With a tank, it's not really as necessary because you're only vulnerable from the side and the back, the front. Unless you get hit by a glitch shot, you're actually not so bad. But this thing, I think it is essential to run with reactive armor unless you're running with maybe a couple of other tanks to back you up. Now, this has worked really, really well for me the past couple of weeks, and I found quite a nice balance between being able to take air vehicles and ground vehicles and infantry out. And the reason for that is... If you've watched my tow missile video, I've started to be able to take out helicopters and jets with the tow missile. A nice tutorial will pop up on screen now if you're still finding that a little bit difficult. But once you get to grips with it, it's actually not as difficult to hit, you know, slow moving or um, strafing jets as you may think. It's mainly about just getting the practice down and uh, making sure that you don't run out of ammo because remember you only get two tow missiles and the, the reload time on these things is actually quite a lot. Now. The reason for using this combination mainly is that the tow missile alone is just about enough to keep tanks and other LAVs at arm's length, but if you are ever rushed by an, by enemy armour and you're, you're running the canister shell, which again is brilliant for taking down infantry, but you're going to find yourself in a really, really difficult situation, and especially with the, the infantry fighting vehicles being so vulnerable and with APS being so glitchy, I wouldn't recommend running anything apart from APS, um, you're going to find yourself in a really, really sticky situation, and you don't want that to happen. So running with these 25 mils, especially on maps that are quite armor-centric, you're going to find yourself staying alive a lot longer. Something else that I would really recommend, though, uh, with the 25 mils, I didn't realize how effective they are against infantry. Usually I just fire at a wall or fire at the floor and get a bit of splash damage and take out infantry that way. However, if you hit an infantry in the head or you hit them in the chest or something like that, you're going to take them down in one or two shots, which is really, really impressive for something that is also so effective against armor. Often you find that it's either good against one thing or the other. The 25 mils, once you get the drop right, are actually quite effective against everything. They're also very good against... Um, enemy air vehicles as well but obviously the lead is a lot more challenging than other weapons apart from that i run at the minute i'm running reactive armor just because of that mobility issue with the with these infantry fighting vehicles but there are other options available and again that's something that i will look into in the future with as these episodes go on you can see a bit of gameplay in the background you've probably seen quite a lot of this henan resort stuff from me in the past it is a really really nice map to play on with the apcs but and the fact that there's no tank on it as well means that you are pretty much in the strongest vehicle on the map, which is quite unusual for for one of these things because they are, as I said before, they are fairly vulnerable against any enemy armor, especially the tanks. So for future episodes, this is what I'd like to happen. Down in the comments, if you leave a loadout that you'd like me to run with for a vehicle, and I will do my best to get some really high quality gameplay for you guys to watch and then commentate over the top and give my thoughts and opinions on the whole thing. I know a lot of people have been asking what's the best tank shell. I have my personal preferences with the AP shell, but I'm more than happy to try and go on a bit of a streak with an HE or, God forbid, a Sabot shell, but I don't really mind giving it a giving it a go just to see what I can come up with. 
There are other interesting combinations you can come up with with the LMG instead of the tow missile possibly for the lav and then maybe something to do with the boat as well. I've mainly run with burst cannon and TV but there are other options available that especially the tow missiles that could be quite interesting to try out. Also looking at countermeasures and different things like that, feel free to leave stuff like that in the comments, especially for the helicopter, you might be wondering about different combinations you could run as a pilot gunner setup, and I can get some dual gameplay going of attack helicopter footage as well. Hopefully you enjoyed this episode, if you did, please leave a like on it, and please leave comments down below and let me know what you think of the whole setup. Thanks again for watching guys, and I'll see you in the next video.